We don't have any other work except this work. Let the government answer us. Government, they have family. Government, they have children. Government, they have family. They cannot tell their family to stay indoors without working. We are begging on behalf of the on behalf of all of us. Let the government answer us. Government, please. So will you please? Whatever you are, so will you answer us. We are begging. We are begging you as a father. You are our father. Please don't let us astray. Please don't betray us because we voted you in. So will you please help us. Help us. Our children are in the house crying. Our children are in the house waiting for us. Daddy, what did you bring to? What did you bring? We cannot go back there and tell our children to stay indoor. We cannot go back there to tell our children to stay in the house. We cannot go back there to tell our children not to go to school. Government, please answer us. We are begging. Go pilots! And I believe if they stop or if they ban this bike, they will also sack many civil servants there because of their time. Those are rushing down to the, to the office. That's my wife to the go cab, go cab that rider. Please, I'm here to plead to the Mr. Governor to please help us. I'm here on a plea because if this is bad, most of us will be hungry. Husband here. My husband is here. So you came to support him? Yes, I came to support him because when he came yesterday, trying to carry to me that go that, that they want to ban their company from working, I cried throughout yesterday because it is this job that is giving us money to feed our family. Our children are at home. We are going to pay school fees. House rent is there. Even my shop rent is due. Please, I'm begging the governor. I, as I am speaking to you, I am a graduate. I have come to this Alausa several times to seek for a job, but I never found nothing. Please and please, I have to settle down to buying and selling, which my husband gives me money. Please, if this is banned, then I know I will go on hunger. All my family, even the generations coming, will go on hunger. Please and please, I'm trying to beg Mr. Governor to give us a trial to see that there will be zero accidental rates, which has never occurred before this incident. You see, this job has really been helping us a lot. Most of us here are graduates. Like me, I'm a graduate of maybe the Belo University. I graduate. Eh? I studied mass communication. I came to Lagos State. I was working with a private sector organization like that. I was being paid 35000 per month. Even transportation money said no, they reach me. But as I started this one, I was even able to bring my own wife to Lagos. Come open shop for them. Come put my two children for school. Now the government can't say they want to ban this thing now. Oga, how you want to make we survive? <laughs> eh? That's why we are here. To tell the government our mind. To tell them, say, we are not forcing them, but we want to tell them, say, this is what we want to do now. This is how the thing will affect us. The thing will affect us negatively because at least in Lagos, we have no lesser than 50,000 riders. 50,000 riders. So if now this job is being, they don't scrap this job now. For my own point of view, I think that the government shouldn't think of banning Okada because if you look around now, we are hundreds of thousands of riders here. If government should insist in banning this Okada business now, I wonder what the government wants us to go outside there and do. Many of us here, to tell you the fact, this job, there is no job, even the government, if the government should, for instance, now say okay that they want to give us job if they should ban this Okada. I don't think there is any job that government can give us now that will be better than this. I've done many several mirror type of jobs before now and I tell you this is the best job that I can I can ever do in Lagos State now because I know how much I earn daily. This is we make money daily. You understand? If the government should look into this company now, the government will see that those accidents happening on the road is not coming from us because we are well trained. We have professionals that train us before you, you cannot just come and they give you bike. They have to train you, go weeks. You go you undergo training weeks and they will give you certificate for the training you undergo. 
before they give you bike for you to run outside. So, to tell you the fact, and they provide us with better equipment to make our trip safe on the road. This helmet you can see here has Bluetooth, which means that we will be on the road if our phone should ring. We are not to stop anyhow and pick call. The Bluetooth itself was designed to pick call on its own. You will be on the way, you can answer your call. Nobody will know you are answering calls. So you can't be distracted. We are always safe on the road. So the government should, instead of banning this Okada, should be specific and regulate. The company the accident is coming from is definitely not from us. Even not for our own benefit also. For the civil servants, those that work with the government, because I think we save their times. You understand? Like, they need to meet up on certain, certain time. If there is not, if this bike is not available, I think they can make, meet up. Because when in the traffic, they are in, it, in, their, in their cars, how would they go to where they are going on time? And I believe if they stop or if they ban this bike, they will also sack many civil servants there because of their time. Those are rushing down to the, to the office. And what, all I know is that we are well trained. We don't beat traffic crews. The, the, the traffic lights. We obey, I've never for once beat the, tra the traffic lights. And I don't take the out in lane. That's all I know.